Life, my best and favorite driver in the world, Danny Kapatrick, at last call with Carson Daly. Danny K explaining what's happening with her when she got a ticket from police. And she's laughing on that. Yes, I have gotten out of tickets because of who I am. And I've also not gotten, gotten out of tickets because of who I am. The most uh, common way that I get out of a ticket is when they notice right away. Usually they laugh and like, oh shoot. I'm like, all right, well, just slow down. What I think I should do, this has like crossed my mind many times. If I get pulled over, should I pull out my FIA racing license and hand that to them? Because they don't have one of those. Eh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want my oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted my highest level driving license. The highest level. Daddy kid. My best and favorite driver in the world. I am Patrick, and I am a professional race car driver. She's a professional race car driver. Daddy kid. Repatch. When I was 10 years old, I started racing go karts, and. I love the feeling of accomplishment, of going faster. I would always ask, Dad, did I go faster? Did I go faster? It's not really the ultra macho, I just want to go real fast kind of thing. It's more about creating a new challenge and a new goal and succeeding. Danica repack super long. It goes from Valentine's Day to the weekend before Thanksgiving. You know, we have 38 events, we have 36 regular season races, and then two others. NASCAR does become your life, and it is, uh, it, it takes up all your days for the most part. So any ones that you have left are probably based on friendships that you've developed at the track. And so um, that's what makes NASCAR great, is there's a lot of good people. It helps that you date a fellow driver that has the same schedule. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot. See you soon, baby. Daddy here. My boyfriend does the exact same thing as I do, as in like I race against him on the weekends. For the two of us, we really don't have to say, how was your day? Even though we sometimes kind of ask it because it might be like, oh man, maybe maybe he didn't have a good finish, but he was like, oh, it was good. He's like, I just got screwed at the end, a pit stop. And you're like, oh, okay, I didn't see that because I was driving. There is a little honey, how's your day, but you generally have a feel for what their day has been like. And um, you for sure have an understanding as to what their day was like, no matter what the answer is. Panic here. Driving a car, your experience pays off well, and I feel like that's because you're ready to digest any problem that happens, and you're also used to the feeling that the car gives you. It's a little like being on a roller coaster sometimes because the car can snap and have a big moment, or something can happen that is sudden that you weren't necessarily expecting. Sometimes you're really driving hard and it snaps and you kind of expected it, but it doesn't change the result being that you're looking at that wall and you're like, oh, oh. And you're, you know, trying to correct with the wheel and the throttle and you're trying not to overreact because overreactions usually make the car spin out, whether it be maybe the front hits the wall quicker or the rear comes around faster. So you're try just dancing all the way to the wall and hoping that you miss it. It's definitely a challenge and that's the biggest challenge as a driver, I think, is that, you know, how quickly and how often can you be at that limit and be able to repeat it without mistakes. Shut up and drive. Doing what I do, I, I get to show my talents off in other ways. I did a spot for Lyft, which is a car service, and uh, we were in Charlotte, and I was taking people around, and they thought that I was being uh, judged and kind of auditioning to see if I qualify to be a Lyft driver in the company. And I'm talking about like driving fast, and I'm like, oh, you know, on Sundays I try and get like 500 miles in. Um, being a Lyft driver, and I was like, I, I try and do it in less than four hours or so, you know? <laughs> so I made a bunch of jokes about the parallel racing, and there was only one person that knew who I was, but I loved prompting them to see if they even knew who I was. So I would ask them if they liked racing, if they liked NASCAR. I'm like, oh, do you know that girl driver? And so I was like, just thought, I might as well not say my name. That's like super duper obvious. How about I just say, like, do you, you know, do you watch it? And 
do you know who she, you know, do you know that girl? And they were like, oh, you mean Dan for Patrick? And I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Daddy care forever. Life. Danica, she's always with me on all my channel. It's me and Danica. Forever from Facebook, from Twitter, to Goggle Foss. There's always me and Always me, always me and Dad again. I think it's more like working.